Good afternoon. Thought I'd go live again just to chat about a few things. Um, talk about observations and, well, I'm going to share some observations, that's better. Share some observations and some gratitude as we adjust to this new normalcy. And it is an interesting place to play. So before I jump into that part, let me just share a few things I'm observing and also grateful for. First of all, right up front, I want to share some gratitude to my friend Jason Goldberg. Um, I may tag him in this. He went on Facebook Live this morning and announced that his Playful Prosperity eight-week course is now gifted to anybody who wants it. And if you're interested, let me know. I'll put the link out to you. I'm not going to put any links here because I'm going to post this in several groups and I don't want to be violating ground rules. But basically, heads up, that Jason offered this amazing thing which I've always signed up for. Um, interesting stuff, Playful Prosperity. It's about if you really want to build your business or if you're looking to do a side gig, something like that. Anyway, don't want to talk about it too much because I want to keep this clean. Um, but reach out to me if you want to know more about that. Second thing, I'm grateful for social media. <laughs> With all of its ups and downs and and um, fear mongering and humility, and spirituality and groundedness and all these different things in between, it's a fantastic place to play. So I've been observing so many interesting posts on social media, some of which I definitely am fact checking and some of which I'm just enjoying the witness of. And thank you for all the humor. There are so many people posting, excuse me, I've on the tripod. There are so many people, so many people portray, um, expressing humor over the last couple of days, which I'm loving. Now, let me sidetrack slightly into another part to be more serious for a moment. Um, we're not anywhere close to being through the woods yet. I know that in this journey of the, uh, I'm not trying to give any names because I, want to, I know that if you put certain terms, it starts to block you and stuff like that. So I'm not saying anything and it's not in my title. But you know what we're dealing with, that dreaded thing, the CV as I've been calling it for short. It's an interesting place that we're in. You know, I shared on, I was doing a, um, a Zoom call last night with a friend of mine, actually a collaborator we're putting out, we did a talk. We don't know if the recording's saved because that's the way life is sometimes. But I was sharing about how, you know, dealing with certain issues like the fact that my dad's back in England and he's in his 90s in a nursing home and he's not long for this world and getting back there right now is not the easiest thing to do plus my brother has to live in Italy so he's shut down locked out as well so we're we're separated from our family connections to do things this in the next couple of months at least and that's hey Duchess nice to see you and this is the thing is that I'm adjusting to that so I know we all have our issues and challenges and opportunities around this new experience we're going through and I'm loving, by the way, Duchess, I didn't catch a chance to catch your, um, your, your husband's, excuse me, I was gonna say, what you call him, husband, yeah, Bert's, um, not Bert, excuse me, I just blanked, I just switched two people. Um, your partner's um, dance party, I missed that yesterday, I was doing. I was actually doing my own Zoom call at the same time, so I missed it, and I just go back and watch that. Anyway, that's another piece, by the way, there was so much entertainment showing up on social media now. You know, the museums are putting on virtual tours, the the um, New York Opera, the New York Opera, I think it's the Metropolitan Opera, is doing like free recordings of their shows to watch online. Um, I just saw, um, what was I just saw today? Oh, the New York Public Library has got an app you can download, which you should browse all the books in the New York Library for free. So lots of resources are popping up and showing up and being visible to people if you just look for them. So I've been doing a lot of um, browsing. <laughs> I'll say it today and sharing stuff. Yes, I know. That's, that's nothing about social media. When you do things on social media, they tend to stay on social media, unlike Vegas. <laughs> so that's an interesting piece too. And what I'm also grateful for is that I've noticed a new group, some new groups are showing up. They're fairly recent. They're more about consciousness and presence about how do we serve community? How do we stay connected? How do we serve and love? And I've joined a couple of them. There's a lot out there, so you get to choose and, and decide which ones you want to join. But I'm grateful for what's being showing there too, because there's a more concentrated, almost like a um, undiluted positivity showing up. And it's not fake stuff. It's not like, you know, Pollyanna stuff. These are teachings, their observations, their experiences people have. What I'm watching for, what I'm noticing now, oh, I like, yeah, exactly, Duchess. You're super excited about this crazy, brave new world we're stepping into. Exactly. And that's the thing. We're not there yet, I understand, although the seeds are being planted. And there's a lot of talk about, I'm not going to get into too much because I can really, really, <laughs> really go, down, uh, go down a rabbit hole about the origins of this. CV experience but the benefits of the CV experience let me speak to that side of things because that I can't talk about publicly is that we have opportunities showing up I was mentioning the Zoom call I did last night is for a new course that we were going to launch last night but because 
of the experience we're in right now, we pushed it back a week and have an, had an open house, which we may do again because we can't find the recording. <laughs> Say la vie. Because it's time now to really come together. It's time to really get back to our heart-centered place of living. And I've been talking about that for a while now, and my, I know my work is shifting into more um, self-relationship more than romantic relationship. And right now with the CV experience, romantic, you know, dating might be a little bit on the uh, back burner for some people because they're going, you know, unless, you, unless someone's got toilet paper to give them, you may not want to go on a date. <laughs> so there's again, lots of humors popping up. So just be aware there's a lot of things showing up on social media that can be uplifting or you can get depressed depending on what you're looking for. So first of all, choose wisely. So as I mentioned, these observations and gratitude, because I've also been maintaining, I've had a practice now for almost two years of doing gratitude jar. And the things I can witness being grateful for is making my day much more bright. So I'm hoping you're doing the same thing. Um, it's easy to forget sometimes because maybe you just got laid off from your job or maybe you got the kids at home and they're driving you crazy because there's a lot of friends of mine posting about their experiences with their kids being homeschooled right now. A lot of things are changing. And as Dutch just said, we're in a crazy brave new world and it's going to be a little bit, I would say, um, bumpy ride for a moment. But I have, I have hope, I have vision for the future and, and I have nothing to base it on, just to be clear. I'm not saying I know stuff's going to happen. I feel stuff's going to happen. That's again heart-centered. That's more of intuitive feeling level. But I have no control over it except I control how I feel. And that's something I want to tell you about. One of the biggest challenges I think we're facing right now is being so overridden and inundated by the media, so overridden and inundated by the politicians and by the news and everything else, that it's tempting sometimes to feel we're being attacked. Now, there are lots of things to be concerned about. Yes, this world has got some strange things about it, both with CV, with 5G and other things too, but I'm again, not getting into those now. But the choice you have is how do you respond to those? One of the things I talked about recently, I'm going to keep talking about again as a pivot point, is where are you reacting and where are you responding? If you're, only react if you're in a reactive state, you're out of control. And I don't mean like, woo, out of control. I mean, you won't have control of your feelings. When you learn to respond, you get to choose what you do. That's power. That's self-reliance. That's what I'm calling self-mastery, hence the SM on the front of my, my recent talks. I've called SM, which is self-mastery. When you learn to differentiate between, or excuse me, when you choose between reaction versus response, your life can change. Now, a lot of people I know out there in the world, and you may be seeing them when you're out in the world, if you do go outside the house, I've been um, self-isolating for the last few days, so I haven't been out for a few days. Um, I'm gonna go out to, I'm gonna venture out tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see if the world has changed much in four days. But the thing is that we have the choice every moment to watch how we are in response to what's happening whether it's a post on social media, or it's a phone call, or it's media, you know, it's, it's some sort of um, press media type response to what's going on. You can choose how you want to respond, but it's up to you to make that choice. So here's the thing, I'm gonna give you a little um, little homework assignment, and it's gonna be a little, I'm sure I'm gonna teach it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach it. Again, response versus reaction. If you're finding yourself being um, more and more um, bent out of shape, that's a technical term by the way, by what's happening in the world, then you may want to consider that maybe you're being pulled from your center by things around you. The thing about response versus reactivity is re reactivity is usually where we give a power our way to something else. Like we say, that's got more power than I do. Yes, you're doing this because you let that thing influence your mood. When you choose to respond, when you take your power back, and this is why I love teaching this stuff, when you learn how to respond to the world, then what happens out there happens out there, not in here. You can choose to participate, you can choose to respond, you can choose to interact, but it's all up to you versus what the world um, inundates you with. One of the biggest things I keep learning and remembering more and more now, especially more than maybe other times, is that what's happening out in the world is not the end of the world. <laughs> if you think about that one for a second. What's happening in the world can feel like it's the end of the world, but it's not. It may be the end of certain structures, and that's another thing about what Duchess said about this crazy brave new world we're stepping into. There's things that are going to shift. And part of that, I believe, is what is being pulled apart. Like we're going through what basically, first of all, certain um, hidden behaviors are being more, made more visible. I'm glad it's your perspective too, Mary. Thank you for letting me know that. And that's the thing is that we are starting to recognize that what's been happening has perhaps have, there's a method to the madness. And again, I know there's a lot of stories and origin, origin stories, interesting origin stories about CV, about, you know, 
how it started, who started it, if it was accidental, if it was intentional, if it was an attack, if it, whatever it was. I'm not getting into that because I don't have a particular answer which is true or not, because there's many perspectives. Some of them may be true, I don't know. But what I am aware of is it's causing a shift. As has been said quite a few times online, this is the most challenging crisis on the planet in our lifetimes. Even more than September 11th, especially more than September 11th, because it's worldwide. September 11th, September 11th was a local event in the United States, so to speak. And I got a whole lot of conversation about that. I'm not getting into that one now. <laughs> I keep opening cans, but not that kind of worms. Not that kind of worms. We'll put those away. Um, <laughs> but what I want to just say, as a as a point I want to make in this talk, is that I'm really becoming clear that we have to come together as conscious, caring people. Not spiritual necessarily. If you are, that's great. But if you just have the awareness of being in your heart, of having more compassion and care for those around you, not just for yourself, and you can bring yourself forward to contribute to the world, contribute to each other. A lot of posts I've been I've been touched by is where people have been offering their services. I, I I'm I'm in Culver City in, in LA, and there's a next door there's a next door app is everywhere, but we have next door in Culver City. A lot of people embody on next door their willingness to drive and get groceries for the elderly. That's what I mean. How do we serve and help other people around us that could just be going next door and giving them for flowers? Or just calling up your neighbors and saying, Look, I'm going to the store, let me save you the trouble, what else do you want? I can get it for you. Those sorts of things are the ways we can change our view. Those sorts of things are things you can change how you're being witnessed by the world, how you're being seen by other people, and things you can be grateful for. Yes, service is a thing I'm grateful for in what I do in my life. So my invitation to you is to look at how you can bring your heart to the way you participate in the world. Now some people I know are definitely feeling a bit challenged because maybe they're having to work at home and again. Some of you have been laid off. There's a lot of the challenge we have with the um, businesses that have been shut down by what's been happening. You know, theatres, bowling alleys, museums, stuff like that. Definitely have compassion for those people. Concern. If you have a way of opening them out, great. And definitely, definitely, if you go to the grocery store, just tell them how grateful you are. Because first of all, they're working in the environment that gets lots of people coming in, so the concern level of being affected versus infected comes up a lot. So being caring for those you're around, even online, is something I recommend you do. So two things to play with, one of which is choose to respond versus react, and I've got a whole teaching on that. If you want to find out more, let me know. Secondly, it's about what, you can, you be, what can you be grateful for, and who can you be grateful to out in the world and in your life? We can make a difference. And can you be grateful for yourself for what you do and give in the world as well. So that's a little chat. I wanted to just throw this out there as something to play with. Um, I have been ju I've been thinking about it's time to go live again. I haven't gone live for a while. But if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I have done a thousand Facebook Lives in another stream. <laughs> if you want to find out more about that, I can let me know and I'll send you the link for that. That's actually on YouTube as well now. I backed them up. This is like a new feeling of teaching I'm doing, which is about self-mastery. That's my real passion with helping people really learn to master their own way in the world. And right now, the world, way the world is going, it's more important than ever that we learn how to master ourselves and own our space and really observe how we can detach from what's happening around us. Because the world around us is giving us lots of tests right now. If you have any questions, message me. If you want to get more support, if you want to know about Jason's gift, let me know about that too. I'll send it to you. I'm not putting any links in this broadcast because I want to post this video in other places. And... Uh, one, be grateful for what you do have. Two, be grateful because you're allowed, you're around on the planet and you're living and having a healthy life. That's two to start with. And three, as always, please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. And uh, if you want to find out more about what I do, message me. I'll talk to you later.